Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. We are decluttering this disaster. I can't believe that I'm even showing this to you guys. Like, look at that. It is so bad. We're going to start row by row. So I have body lotions up here, body wash up there. It's just a mess. There's mouthwash, there's crest white strips, there's a little bit of everything. A ton of skincare. 70% of it I don't use, so we really need to go through it. Shampoo, conditioner, body, more body wash, and like random crap. <sighs> I have no words. So, let's begin the long and strenuous decluttering process of my bathroom cupboard. Oh my god. This is going to be a disaster. If anyone sees my vaheen at any point, I'm apologizing in advance because I have booty shorts on and there may be a slip of a cam. Okay, so here we go. Oh my gosh, this is a lot. So these two, I'm going to have to try to go through this quickly or we're going to be here forever, but these two Nivea ones, this one is my favorite, the Coconut and Minoy. Oh my God, it's so good. Is my camera going to play games today? Probably. But I love this one. Definitely keeping that. That's the one I use more than any. My mom uses this one when she's here, so I will keep that one, but I don't like the Orchid and Argan one. I don't like the scent of it, but the formula is so nice and thin, but still hydrating. Uh, this Drunk Elephant one, I don't think it's worth the high price tag. It's just a basic lotion. Like if you would put this next to a Jergens lotion and cover the labels, you would never know the difference. So I'll finish it up because it was kind of pricey for a body lotion, but would never repurchase. Love my bum bum cream. I've been through numerous, one of my faves. This aromatherapy comfort vanilla and patchouli. I think my mom uses this one, so I'm gonna keep that one. That's kind of old though. I probably should get rid of it. Josie Marin whipped argan vanilla pear. Do I like the scent of this? Let's see. Oh, this one's never even been opened, so. I'll see if my mom wants that. Do you guys remember who's been here since my addiction to Josie Marin whipped argan oil body butter? Oh my God, I was addicted. This Body Shop banana one, a wonderfully wonky banana. Uh, I don't know, I liked it when I bought it, but the scent is so like overpowering. So I think I'm gonna get rid of that one. Uh, Josie Marin Limoncello. Ugh. I don't like that, but I know my mom does. Ugh. Uh, this is pretty much empty. The Kula Sunless Tan Firming Lotion. This is amazing, though. If you need a sunless tanner, I think it's like a gradual one. Yeah, it's a gradual one. I haven't used it in a while. It's almost empty, so I'm going to get rid of it, but it's real good. It just gives you like a light tan and it doesn't look fake. It's really nice. Uh, Capri Coastal Citrus from Bath and Body Works. I'm going to get rid of this one, but uh, I used this when we were on the cruise and it reminds me of uh, the best vacation of my life. Uh, I love that scent. At the Beach from Bath and Body Works. Probably my favorite Bath and Body Works scent, but this is old, so I'm getting rid of it. This Jouer Luminizing Body Lotion, I love this, but this is old and I never ever use it because it's just easier to use like a regular body lotion. I don't know, like I love this, but then I always forget about it, so I'm getting rid of it. One of my new faves, the Neutrogena Sheer Oil Lotion. I think you can only really find this at Bed Bath & Beyond. It's really good. I just got it and look how low it is. I've been going hard. And then another one of my favorites, not this scent, but the hemp solution in general. This one is fresh coconut and watermelon. It's good. 
Not my favorite though. My favorite one is the Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon. I just have this little baby one. This stuff is bomb. I get it on Amazon. Yes, yes, every day, yes. Pixie Hydrating Milky Lotion. This one is super, super thin. Not my favorite. I don't feel like it's super hydrating. I'm getting rid of it. Oh, here's my other hemp one. It's pretty much empty, but I'm gonna get that little last bit out of it. We love her around here. We don't waste hemp lotion around these parts. Um, this is the Jouer Body Butter. It's so nice. I love it, but I've had this for a while. I should probably get rid of it. It smells floral. Oh, it smells so good. That's what it looks like. It's a thinner lotion. Oh, I should get rid of it. I should get rid of it, but I like it. Okay, I'm getting rid of it. Gold Bond Healing. My mom probably brought this up. She always brings up like little baby travel size lotions. I should keep that for her. Okay, I think that's it for lotion. No, it's not. We have Amazing Grace from Philosophy, one of my mom's specialties. She's all about some Philosophy lotion. If it were up to me, this would go, but she'll kill me. Okay, moving on to body wash. Caress Evenly Gorgeous Exfoliating. Um, it's all right. This is old. I used to really, really like this, like a lot. But I don't know, I'm kind of over it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. It's old. Dove Shower Foam. I hated this. I felt like it dried my skin out. It just, I didn't like it, so I'm throwing that away. Caress Sheer Twilight. This is as old as dirt. I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> Another Caress one, Love Forever. I don't like the scent of this. I don't even know where this came from. Maybe my mom brought it up, but I'm throwing it away and we just won't tell her. Tis the Season from Bath and Body Works. This is old. It's probably been in there for two Christmases. It's going in the trash. It feels so good to get rid of stuff, doesn't it? Ooh, this is a newer one. Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower from Bath and Body Works. That little guy will hang on to. I like the little ones for when I travel. Pure Lease Coconut Oil and Coffee Sugar Body Scrub. I like this one too. I'm gonna hang on to this guy, hoping that my camera is focusing and you guys can actually see what's happening. Oh, this Becca Body Luminizer. What's it called? Ignite Liquefied Highlighter. This I keep in the bathroom because I mix it with body lotion. So that stays in here. Molten Brown Body Wash. My mom definitely took this from a hotel. I keep it for my mom. A little sample of the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bod Buff. I had another one of these and eh, it was okay. That's old though and it's almost empty so I'm tossing it. Aromatherapy Stress Relief. Did I say that right? Was that English? Eucalyptus and Spearmint from Bath and Body Works. Um, I'll keep that. That's a decent one. Okay, so we're through one. This guy, I don't even know what's in here. So I'm gonna dump out what's in here and just keep the little container because these are nice for traveling. I found another random body lotion. This one I love. Uh, Pure Grace Endless Summer. It kind of smells like suntan lotion. Summer Heaven. Love this one, keeping. Oh, it smells really good. I like the lotion better than the perfume for some reason. Oh my gosh, my mom has hidden stashes of Philosophy Body Wash. Unbelievable. Okay, we're moving on to body wash. I think there's a couple shampoos in here. Mane and Tail. I used this very briefly when I was trying to grow my hair out. I don't know if it really did anything. It's not the best. I'm getting rid of it. I have a purple shampoo and conditioner because I, for a very brief time, had highlights. And then they turned brassy and I got rid of them. And um, I am gonna keep these though for my mom. They are a good purple shampoo and conditioner. Kristen S, you can get it at Target. I like it. So I'll keep those for Mamadre because she's a little blonde. She's a little blonde thing. Pure Grace from Philosophy, that is my mother's. She would kill me if I got rid of it. 
Dove Deep Moisture Body Wash. I will hang on to that because that's new. Wander Beauty Scenic Route Hair Treatment. This is good. I use it occasionally. It's, um, you can use it as like a deep conditioner. Hang on, what's it say? Three-in-one hair treatment, conditions, moisturizes, and detangles. So you can use it as like a leave-in conditioner or a deep conditioner, or I think is like a regular conditioner. So it's good. It's kind of like a, you know, you can use it a couple different ways. I like that. Also from Wander, I have the all-inclusive shampoo and body wash. And this one I like as well. Not really as a shampoo, but I don't mind it as a body wash. It's not my favorite, but it is decent and the packaging is super cute. Cremo All Season Body Wash Sage and Citrus. I love this brand of body wash, but this is not my favorite scent. I may get rid of this. It smells like a man. I might actually give that to my husband because I think Tony would like that. And then a little bit left of little black party dress from Bath and Body Works, throwing that away, it's old. Uh, mahogany Teakwood, one of my favorite scents from Bath and Body Works, but it's pretty much empty, so I'm gonna get rid of that. This little caress one, I hang on to this. This is one of my favorite body washes, and I use this little guy when I travel. So keeping him. Love Beauty and Planet, Argan Oil and Lavender Shampoo. Um, it's pretty much empty, but I do really like this brand. I think it's a good brand. I've used a couple different ones from them, and I've always been happy with them. Who remembers how in love I was with this? Shea Moisture Peace Rose Oil Complex Nourish and Silk and Conditioner. I love this. I forgot I had this. I will be finishing this up. This is one of my faves. It's all jacked up. Like, what did I do to it? I was like squeezing it in the shower like a maniac. Live Clean Coconut Milk Liquid Hand Soap. Uh, no. I use Bath & Body Works Liquid Hand Soaps. This is a Mama YWP special. I'm getting rid of it. Soper Nicole. Look how cute my picture's on it. Like, how could I ever get rid of that from Soap & Glory? This is one of my favorite... Uh, shower gels clean on me. It's really good and I'm keeping it forever because <laughs> Look at that queen And then my mom just brought this up Jergens wet skin moisturizer. It's like an in shower thing I don't like these but she does so And if you're wondering my mom is eventually moving in with us, but she's up here a lot So when she's here if she showers her stuff's here. She's like slowly moving her stuff up here Probably this fall she'll be moved in. Okay, we're getting through this. This is not terrible, but we haven't gotten to skincare yet. That's when things are gonna fall apart. That's when I'm gonna fall apart. Okay. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed, officially. So, now we are gonna go through some hair stuff, some body sprays, and I think that might be it. Living Proof Prime Style Extender. have had this forever. It's covered in dust and I'm throwing it away because it's very old. My favorite, I stocked up on this on eBay because it's been discontinued. The L'Oreal Air Dry It Wave Swept Spray. This is my last backup of it. It is so good. I've talked about it in a favorites video. Yes, yes, she stays. Air Dry It Ruffled Body Mousse. I don't ever use mousse. This is super old and I'm throwing it away. L'Oreal Elvive 8, 8 Second Wonder Water. I have never ever used this um, and I'm getting rid of it because I don't know what it is. Maybe I did use it once. I, I think I may have, but I don't know that I liked it. L'Oreal Colorista Fader Fading Shampoo, like for hair color. This is a good thing to have just in case something bad happens with like a box dye, so I'll keep that. Shea Moisture Silicone Free Miracle Styler Leave-In Treatment. I've never used this. I've had it for years and I'm getting rid of it, finally. Garnier Nutrice Color Reviver 5-Minute Color Mask. No, I'm going to stick with my Olaplex. Um, I like Garnier hair color, but when it comes to like hair masks and stuff, 
I don't know, I'm just kind of picky. Shea Moisture Daily Hydration Shampoo. This is so stinking old, I'm throwing it away. Garnier Fructis Invisible Dry Shampoo. Ah, I like this dry shampoo. Um, I think I have another one of these somewhere. I thought there were two of them, maybe not. Uh, this is a good one. I will keep this as a backup. L'Oreal Elvive Rapid Reviver Deep Conditioner. They had sent these over, and um, I don't know that I've ever used them. I think I'm going to give them away. They're brand new. Kerastase Nutritive. I don't even know what this is, but it doesn't matter because I have had this, honestly, for probably three years. It's definitely expired and I'm throwing it away. OGX Protecting and Silky Blowout Quick Drying Thermal Spray. Um, this is a backup. I have one of these in use. It's a re I feel like my camera's not focusing. It's a really good like heat protectant. So I'm gonna keep that guy. Oh my goodness, this has dust on it. Kerastase Discipline curl mask mask curl it's some kind of leave-in conditioner or like um deep conditioner but i'm getting rid of it because it's very very old garnier whole blends color care mask not one of my favorites it's okay but i just stick with olaplex so i'm gonna get rid of that guy and that's like half empty anyway garnier whole blends replenishing leave-in conditioner I might hang on to this one. I do like this one. I've used it a few times. Um, my camera is acting weird, but yeah, I'm going to hang on to that. OGX Argan Oil Creamy Hair Butter Leave-In or Rinse Out. I'm going to get rid of this because again, it is very, very old. LV Total... LV... Can I talk? LV Total... Why can't I say that? Elvive to oh my god what L'Oreal Elvive to why do I keep wanting to say total total L'Oreal Elvive to <laughs> Nicole what's wrong with you total repair five I'm getting rid of this again it's very old it was okay I think I was through an entire one of those but since I've discovered Olaplex that's just I don't know. Nothing beats that. Uh, Kerastase shampoo. I might keep this because I don't have much shampoo and this one's not old. So I'll hang on to that guy. Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Triple Detox Shampoo. I didn't even know I had that. I will keep that for when I travel. It's just a little guy. See, we're getting there. My favorite body spray, we're moving on to body sprays, is Sheer Love from Victoria's Secret. It was discontinued. I bought five of them on eBay. I'm down to like two. Obsessed. Love it so much. We'll cry when it's gone. And then my two, well, my one favorite um, cuticle like hand scrub, if you've been with me, you know about this because I've been talking about this for honestly probably like six years the H2O, they changed the name to Targeted Care. This is the new packaging. I find it at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. It is the best hand scrub in the world. This is the old packaging. I'm keeping both. Love it so much. Best hand scrub ever. A Thousand Wishes Foaming Sugar Scrub. Let me smell. Oh, this was never even opened. Let me give this guy a little sniff. I think this might be kind of old though, because look, it's like um, yeah, we're getting rid of that because I'm pretty sure it went bad. Thousand Wishes Foaming Sugar Scrub from Bath & Body Works. It smells a little funky. Brazilian Crush from Sol de Janeiro. Love this. It pairs beautifully with Bum Bum Cream. Like, this scent is just... I gotta spray some on. Oh my gosh. How does it smell so good? Love that. In the Sun from Bath & Body Works. This is another one that I love along with, oh, excuse me, we lost a lid, along with At The Beach, which I have two backups of because I'm a freaking savage maniac and I need to stop. 
I'm going to keep both of these because I am a savage maniac. Let me smell in the sun. Oh God, it just smells so good. Oh my gosh, this freaking smells so good in the sun and at the beach, they're both just so good. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Love, love, love. I love anything that smells like summer because I have an obsession with summer. Fall's coming. I'm sad. I don't want to talk about it. I have a little pumice stone that I'm going to keep. And we are making our way through this, you guys. I'm doing good. I'm doing real good. I'm proud of myself. I'm going to keep hyping myself up so that I don't hit a wall because we got to get to the skincare. Okay, we're back. It's a few hours later. I pulled out all of my backup skincare. This is backup skincare. Like, what? Oh my God. So I'm gonna, oh, I can't back you guys up. Shoot. Okay, let's get through some of this and then we'll, okay, all right. So I have some It Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup Wipes. I really like these wipes, but they dry out so fast. These are totally dry, which is so sad. And then I have the Beekman Facial Cleansing Wipes. These are amazing. I love them. I've used them before. These are the goat milk ones, which I haven't tried. I can't remember the ones that I had before, but love. These wipes are really good. And then I have this Curology stuff. They had reached out to me and they had sent me like you, and this is not sponsored or anything. You pick, like you do a little skincare quiz and then they kind of match it to your needs. And they had sent it to me and then they ended up sending me two more of the exact same thing. So this one I never even opened, but I don't know if I can really give it away because it's like customized for me with like hyperpigmentation, melasma, you know, so I don't really know what to do with it. But I mean, here's the stuff here. So there's a cleanser, there's a moisturizer, and another cleanser. Why do I have two cleansers? I do not know. But I mean, I did like the products. Did I know, really? Did I notice anything like life changing? Not really, but. I think it's good stuff. Like I have no complaints about it. I just have so much skincare. It's a problem as you can see. So I have a bunch of Pixie Glow Tonic. Um, I love this and I do go through it, but I don't need two massive ones. So I may put one of these in a giveaway because these are both fairly new and they've never been opened and I have the little pumps that go with them. So. We're going to set those aside. This little one, I probably am going to give to my mom because my mom likes this too. And then the Pixie Hydrating Milky Cleanser was not a big fan of this. So I am going to see if one of my friends wants it because this is new. I just didn't care for it. It, it just, yeah, wasn't my fave. So I'm going to set him back there. And then I have the Milky Tonic also from Pixie. If I'm using a tonic from Pixie, it's going to be glow tonic. So I'm going to get rid of this one as well. The first aid beauty face cleanser. This is amazing. I'm actually going to give this to my son because he really likes first aid beauty. He has sensitive skin and this is really, really good. If you have more sensitive skin, it's just very basic, but in like the best way possible. So definitely keeping that. The Hydro Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel. I liked this for a while and then I kind of felt like it was almost like clogging my pores. So I'm going to pass on this one. I did love this for, a, I wouldn't say like a month, a month or two. And then I don't know, I just kind of felt like it, it wasn't doing great things for my skin. Oh, here's another Curology product. This is a serum. This I got in like a Korean, Korean, why can't I say that word today? Uh, like beauty box. Um, yeah, no, it wasn't my fave. I am going to get rid of it. The Murad Hydration Prebiotic 4-in-1 Multi Cleanser. This is good. 
I don't actually know why I stopped using it. I'm gonna finish this up because I do like this. This is a good cleanser. Uh, I'm so unorganized right now. My Kula Sunless Tan Face Serum. I've talked about this before. It's amazing. If you tan your body but you don't want to put self-tanner on your face, this is really good because it is a serum. It's meant for your face, but it gives you that nice, like, just gradual tan. It's not intense. It's not, like, orange or too much. It's really, really good. I love it. I have a little Kiehl's Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. I think I went through a big one of these and they had sent over this little guy that I never ended up using, but I am going to keep that because that's a good face wash. Pharmacy Clean Bee Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. I don't know why I haven't used this. I feel like I tried it and I wasn't thrilled with it. I might see... I'm actually going to give this to one of my friends because this is a good cleanser. I don't know. I'm just kind of a picky pain in the butt when it comes to cleansers. I'm really weird. And then the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. This is a full one. Um, I had a love affair with this for a while, but I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of over it. So I probably should throw this away. This is probably expired, which is so sad because it's a full milky jelly cleanser. Dang, that is, that's sad. That actually like hurts my heart. The Wander Beauty Drift Away Cleanser. Um, it's okay. It's decent. Um, I have so many cleansers, so I'm gonna pass on this one. Not my fave, but I don't really have anything bad to say about it. I just, I don't know. I stick with my few cleansers and I don't really deviate unless I find one that I really love. Speaking of one that I really love, this is probably my most favorite. The new Ceramic Slip Cleanser from Sunday Riley. This is everything that I ever needed in my life. I've been through maybe three or four big ones and probably like five minis. I go hard. She ain't going nowhere. Pixie Overnight Retinol Oil. I am going to give this away. It's new. They had just sent this over. Never opened. Stuck it in my cupboard. Never used it. Going in a giveaway. Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Um, I don't know why I have yet another one of these because I feel like I already have two going. I love it. It feels really nice. The mister on it is so perfect. So I'm going to pop this one into a giveaway because this one's fairly new as well because my two oldest ones I have in use. And then I have a backup of my favorite, one of my most favorite, the TLC Baby Facial from Drunk Elephant. If you follow me on Snapchat, we have done this numerous times together. If you like acids and you need exfoliation and just like, it kind of just like peels your face in the best way possible. It has BHAs, AHA, PHA or something. Not PHA, I totally just made that up. But it's amazing. If you're a fan of acids, must try. Wander Beauty Do Not Disturb Overnight Repair Concentrate. I already have one of these in use and I do like it. So this guy's gonna get popped into a giveaway. Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. I love this. I already have one in use. I'm gonna give this one to my mom because she's a big fan of this. I feel like this is a never ending battle. Wander Staycation Hydrating Mask. This they had just sent over. Um, I tried it and I really liked it. It's almost like the Oh, what's it called? The Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask where it feels like a moisturizer and you can't really see it when it's on your face. And then you just kind of like wipe it off with a little towel. You don't even need to like wet your face to get it off. You can kind of just like wipe it off. It's good. I like it keeping. A little baby Cetaphil that my mom brought up. This is an amazing, amazing drugstore cleanser. Just cleanser in general. It's good. It's very gentle. It's safe for sensitive skin. It's dermatologist recommended. It's it's good. Pharmacy Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. Wasn't a huge fan of this one. I love Pharmacy. Um, oh, what's their serum called that I freaking love? 
um, can't think of the name of it. I'll put it on the screen. It's amazing. But I don't know. I'm not a big cleansing balm person. I do like the new Glow Recipe one, but this one for me was a pass. So I'm going to get rid of this guy. All right, what do we have here? The Avocado Superfood Nourishing Mask from Fourth Ray. It was good. Um, I'm more of like an acid person than like a nourishing, gentle kind of mask person. So I'm gonna pass on this guy. Pixi Glow Tonic To Go Pads. These are good. It's just like glow tonic in little pad form. These are very old though, so I'm gonna toss them. The It Cosmetics Miracle Water 3-in-1 Glow Tonic. This is a good one. I'm going to try to finish this up. Um, I do like it. I still think Glow Tonic from Pixi is better. And this is way more expensive. Uh, it's anti-aging, skin softening. It's like a micellar water. Micellar, micellar. Uh, skin brightening radiance booster. And it's anti-aging. Did I say that? I think I did. But yeah, I'm going to hang on to that and try to finish her up. And then this one was supposed to be like a dupe for the SK2 tonic that is like so expensive. This was from Target. It's Time Revolution, the first treatment essence. I don't know. I didn't really feel like it did anything. I tried it for a little while and then I got tired of it. It's definitely like a year old at this point, if not longer. So I'm, oh, 2019. Girl, you's going. Okay, I had to adjust my body. I'm so tall and I'm like twisted up like a pretzel in this little bathroom. All right, what do we have here? Pixie Retinol Eye Cream and Retinol Jasmine Lotion. Eh, wasn't the big fan of either of these. To be fair, I probably didn't give them enough of a shot, but I just, I use the products that I like and it's kind of hard to deviate from them. So I'm going to give these to one of my friends because they are like very new. I'm weird with skincare. Like I would give makeup that's a little older, not like to you guys, but to my friends. But with skincare, it's like if you're, if I'm not sure you're going in the trash because you know, you don't mess around with skincare. Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This is a really good gentle cleanser but this is very old so she's going in the trash origins checks and balances my mom brought this up this is my mom's i've never have i used this maybe once i'm not a big fan of like a super foamy face wash because i feel like it dries out your skin but we're gonna hang on to that because it belongs to my madre the origins plant scription anti-aging power serum this is a backup i already have one of these in use it's actually my second one so this is number three love it it's amazing i use it during the day it feels so good on your skin it just makes your skin feel so soft and smooth amazing amazing serum oh a sad day in my life olay regenerist revitalizing thermal mini peel so this is no longer available in the US. One of my subscribers from, I think Australia sent me two of these and this is all that I have left. This used to be available in the US. Love it so dang much. I don't know why they got rid of it. It heats up like you get your face wet. I put some of this in your hand and when you put it on your face, it's warm. It's just like an exfoliating scrub and it feels so good. I love the way that it warms up. It feels so good. Like why, Olay? Bring this back to the US. I'm not getting rid of this. I'm like savoring this last little bit that I have. It's probably expired as I just said that I'm super careful with skincare, but this is one product I'm finishing her up. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. It's so sad. Why can't we have it back? Okay, let's get these out of the way. I have some Biore, Biore? Uh, pore strips. I should actually give these to Emma. She's a fan of them. They hurt like a bee, but they work. They get your blackheads out. And then I have some Sally Hansen wax strips. I don't even know where these came from. I've never had good luck with any type of wax strip, but I may play around with these. I'm gonna hang on to those, and these Yori strips are going to my daughter. Cause I like to pick my blackheads out. Like I get in the magnifying mirror and I go to town. It's, a, it, it's kind of like an addiction. I have a backup of my Jouer Essential Hydrating Clay Mask. If you have not tried this, you have not lived. 
it is probably my most favorite clay mask. It's so good. It's gentle. It doesn't like get super tight and make your skin hurt. It just makes my skin look so good. It's it's amazing. I can't say enough good things about it. I already have one in use. She's almost empty. Again, if you follow me on Snap, you have seen this many times. It is so, so, so good. If you're a fan of a clay mask, you must, at some point in your life, try this. It's such a different type of clay mask. I don't know. It's like so gentle, but it works and it just, it feels so good. What is it even supposed to do? Intensive moisture mask that deeply hydrates and replenishes dry, thirsty, aging skin. I, oh, I almost dropped it. I love this. Yay. Yes. You're staying. Okay, let me get through these few things. Good Molecules Caffeine Energizing Hydrogel Eye Patches. These are nice. I never notice any type of a difference with eye patches, but I do feel like they're kind of hydrating. These are good ones, and Good Molecules is a fairly, actually a pretty inexpensive brand, so these are a good option. I have a little baby Lala that I have refilled like 10 times and I take this with me when I travel. So I don't think that Lala is in here anymore from Drunk Elephant, by the way. Um, this is like whatever moisturizer I'm using, I will put some in here and use it to travel so she stays. Then we have the Tony Moly Panda's Dream Rose Hyaluronic Face Cream. I use this, it's my favorite. Um, the packaging is super adorable, but this is old, it is getting tossed. Another Tony Moly product that I love with every ounce of my being, one of my top three all-time face masks, the Egg Pore Tightening Cooling Pack. Again, if you follow me on Snapchat, you know this girl. We have visited her many times. It is so good for pores if you have, just like, if you want your pores to look smaller or you just feel like your face is feeling a little gunked up and you need something to help it, this is amazing. It's inexpensive. I love it. I can't say enough good things about it. It's cute. It's like a little baby egg. I love you so much. For pores, if you need a mask for pores, this is what you need. We have some lip scrubs. The lippy scrub from ColourPop. I think this one was a watermelon one. Let me smell it. I never used it. Look at that. I never freaking used it. It doesn't smell like anything. I'm gonna hang on to it though. I don't even know when I got this. I'm keeping it. And then I have the peach lip scrub from too Faced, which was really good, but this one is a little old. I need to get rid of it. It was a good one though. It was like gentle, but not too gentle. And then I have the Jouer Smoothing Sugar Lip Scrub, which is my favorite lip mask. I like a sugar scrub because I feel like it's more gentle, but I still need it to be effective. So there's like a fine line. This one's amazing. And then I have the same exact lip scrub, but in rose. Oh, duh. Come on, Nicole. Get your life together. I love these lip masks. They're so good. So keeping both of those. I don't do a lip mask enough. Revitalizing clay mask from Ofra. This, eh, it wasn't my favorite. I don't think. I really don't even remember how I felt about it. Can you guys see that? So I am going to get rid of it. Goodbye, my friend. The Pharmacy Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mask. This is a good one for hydration. Um, if your skin's just feeling dry and like dehydrated, I love the packaging. It's so cute. It has this little like spoon that magnetizes to it. Definitely keeping this guy. I need to use this one. I haven't used that one in a bit. I have the Ordinary, uh, what is this called? AHA BHA Peeling Solution. It is not expensive. I feel like it's around $10, if that. If you're a fan of acids and you have not tried this, you need to try it, bottom line. I would even say get this before the baby facial because that one is hella expensive. This is super inexpensive and it freaking works. Cannot recommend enough. I'm not like a huge fan of The Ordinary. 
I do feel like some of their products are good. I've had some of them that I've really been happy with. I'm just not like super familiar with the brand. I've used some stuff, but not a ton. This 10 minute exfoliating facial. I'm telling you, this thing is amazing. Uh, freaking amazing. I'm going to use this tonight on Snapchat. Okay, now we're getting into the rest of my face masks. So the AHA Moment Exfoliating Enzyme Mask from Fourth Ray. I really like this one. This is a good one. So this one has, let's see, it's exfoliating, refining, and smoothing. It has AHAs in it, as you can see, which is speaking my language, so I'm going to keep that one. The Purity Made Simple Pore Extractor, another one of my top masks. This one is intense. It gets tight. It's a pain to get off, but it works. If you need a mask for pores, again, this is a really, really good one. This is my second one. It's bomb. I love it. My Baby Facial that you guys have already seen. The Purple Pore Punisher Pore Tightening Mask from Pure. Wow, what a tongue twister. Um, this one wasn't my favorite. I wasn't super thrilled with this one, so I'm going to get rid of that one. The Origins Clear Improvement. This is the charcoal one for pores. As you can see, I'm really into doing things to my pores. This one works. It's good. I like charcoal on my skin. It reacts well with my skin. It doesn't irritate my skin. Another good pore mask. I love face masks. I could do one every day. Another Origins Clear Improvement. This is the Charcoal Honey Mask to Purify and Nourish. Love this one. I do this one about once a week. It's good. It. I can't even explain what I like about it, but when I use this, I feel like my skin looks good. It feels good, and I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Origins in general. Origins Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Soothing Face Mask. This one I don't do often, but if my skin is just feeling kind of irritated or really dry, I'll do this one just to kind of soothe it. I don't know if it really does anything. Um, not one of my favorites, but I do it here and there, so I'm going to hang on to it. Glam Glow Super Mud. I love this. This is almost empty. I don't know that I'm going to repurchase this though because like that Tony Moly one has kind of taken my heart. I use this one for pores and exfoliating, but it says clearing treatment, so I don't know if this would help if you have acne. Um, I just love it because it really exfoliates my skin. It, I just feel like it makes my skin feel really clean and like smooth and soft. I don't even know if it does anything for my pores. I just love this. I, whenever I use it, my skin feels so good. Here's the Jouer one that you guys already saw. That's what the packaging looks like. Here, I'll show you how low she is. We scrape in the bottom. I actually do love it. Hydrating Milky Peel from Pixie. Uh, no, I wasn't a fan of this milky line in general, so I'm going to get rid of this one. I just didn't really feel like it did anything. It's a gentle micro peeling cream. No, I didn't love it. I'm sorry. The Bosha Charcoal Pore Pudding. I used to be a really big fan of this. I haven't used it in quite a while. It's a good mask, though. If you like charcoal and, again, you're looking for something for pores, this is a good one. But this is very old, so I am going to toss it. Here's one of my two Summer Fridays. Summer Friday? Fridays? Is it plural? It is. It's more than one Friday. Jet lag mask. This one is good if you want something soothing, if you have dry skin, which I don't, but every now and then I like to do a hydrating mask. Love. Love this one. Ah, you go over here. Another little Glam Glow Super Mud that I just showed you guys in the big packaging. I just have a mini one because I'm a savage. This is not old. I am keeping it because I love that mask. Multi Miracle Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't even know what this is. Cleanser, Mask, and Balm. Huh. I'm going to get rid of this because I don't know how old it is. And um, I don't remember how I felt about it, so I must not have been that excited. Kiehl's Calendula and Aloe Soothing Hydration Mask. 
wasn't a big fan of this one. It felt a little like clogging. It was a little bit heavy. So I'm going to part with that one. A uh, fresh vitamin nectar vibrancy boosting face mask. I love this mask. I've been through one of these already. This is my second one. It is so good and I don't even know what I love about it. I feel like I keep saying that when it comes to masks, but I don't know. There's just something about this. When I put it on and then I wash it off, obviously, my skin feels so like bright and fresh and just not like clogged up and it doesn't feel like it needs to be exfoliated. This has like little bits in it that almost looks like peach jam or like peach preserves. That's really what it reminds me of. It's a really, really good mask if you want a little bit of exfoliation and some hydration. That's what I would say about that guy. And then the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. I haven't used this one in a while, but this is a good one. I like Glam Glow. I know it's kind of controversial. Some people say the ingredients in it aren't the best, but I've always had good luck with their products. I just think they're grossly overpriced. And then the Goddess Skin Clay Mask from Charlotte Tilbury. A fan of this one. I had two little minis and this is my last one. So I'm going to hang on to this guy. I feel like I got stuff mixed up here. What am I doing? Okay, we're almost done. So I have a ton of sheet masks. I'm not a huge sheet mask person. I would rather do like just a clay mask or one of these masks that you guys just saw. Um, I have used quite a few of these, but I feel like I still have so many left. So I'm going to go through these and get rid of the ones that are old. But a lot of these I just got, like, sent to me not too long ago. This pixie one I like, this glycolic boost. This is a good one. I had a few of these. I'm a fan of this one. So, um, yeah, this is my little face mask collection. There's a lot of them in here. There's a lot going on. I have like feet masks. I have more feet, like petty masks. These Kiehl's ones are good. Instant Renewal Concentrate Mask. They're probably very overpriced though, but I do like these. Um, so yeah, this is my little face mask collection. I will dive into that later because we've been here for a while. Oh my gosh. Okay, so some of these are empty. Okay, so this is the Two Hour Express from Loving Tan. This is the dark one. I don't know that this comes in ultra dark. This one is good, but the best one is the Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. This is the only self-tanner that will ever touch my body. It is the absolute best. I've never found anything that even comes close to this. I am going to do a video on self-tanning because I feel like I've gotten very good at it. I've picked up some little tips and tricks along the way. I don't do it in the summer because I'm out in the sun at the pool so I get naturally tan. But all fall and winter, I this is what I have on. I'm tan. It's this. No question. It's always this. Here's my full one. I also have it in dark, but the dark one doesn't get me dark enough. Ultra dark is where it's at for me. And I have another two hour express that's pretty much empty. So I'm going to get rid of these three. These are trash. I don't even know why I have them in there. Like, what are you doing? And I'm gonna hang on to the dark two hour express just in case I'm in a pinch and I don't have the ultra dark regular one. This one I usually will leave on overnight. The two hour express doesn't get me as dark obviously because it's only in dark, but it, I don't know, it's just not as good of a tan as the original deluxe bronzing mousse. Ago, but so. I think it's kind of expensive. It's like $40 for one of these. It is worth every penny. And I feel like it lasts a decent amount of time. Like I don't go through these too quick, she says, as she has three empty ones. And then I just have my tanning mitt. This is from Loving Tan. This is the one that I use all the time. Um, like I said, I am going to do a video on self tanning though, so I'm not going to give too much stuff away. Um, I have a tan removing and skin polishing glove. I already have one of these in action. So this is just like a little backup one. 
and I have another one. And then I have two mitts, two backup mitts. So we're set for self tanning. So I'm cleaning out these bottom shelves. It's kind of hard to do on camera because all you see is my body. But I wanted to show this to you guys. This is just a little thing I have with like travel stuff in it, like mini stuff. So I have some like little shampoos and conditioners that I try to use up when I travel. Some just little like skincare samples, Briogeo shampoo and conditioner. And then I have like a mini Pixie Glow Tonic that I refill with my Glow Tonic when I travel. Um, this Bosha Black Cleanser, this is old. Sorry, my ring light's kind of like beside the camera, so the lighting's a little crappy, but it looks good here, which is where it mattered a minute ago. Um, little travel containers. Some of this stuff, though, I do have to get rid of. Oh, sadly, I love this. I have this in the full size, the Caudalie Vino Perfect. It's really good and it's kind of pricey, but this is old, so I have to throw it away. So I have a couple of these Wonder Glows from Charlotte Tilbury. I love using these as body lotion. They're so pretty and like, not shimmery, but like luminous. I have a few of those. This Caviar CC Cream for hair, I'm gonna throw away because I've had that for a while. I have some little drunk elephant samples that are so good. This Origins one I'm gonna throw away. It's a drink up intensive face mask. Um, I think that's about it. I oh, I'm gonna throw this away too. Caudalie Vino Source. This is a moisturizer. Wow, this lighting is really bad. Okay, so I just wanted to show that to you guys. I'm gonna keep all these little sample things in here for when I travel and she's just gonna live down here. Okay, so here is the finished cupboard. I tried to show you guys me like emptying it out, but because this bathroom is so small, all you could see was my body standing in front of the cupboard. So down on the bottom, I have self tanning stuff. In the back, there's like waxing stuff because I have a little wax kit. Cleaning stuff, shower caps, travel stuff, extra soaps, um, hand towels, and like my face, like to take my face masks off. A little body brush and then this is where towels go but I'm doing laundry so all the towels are in the laundry hand soaps dawn because that's what I use to wash my makeup brushes and body sprays and then in here we have face masks sorry if the lighting's bad this bathroom is only so big I can't even get the ring light the whole way in because of all the crap in here um, backup skincare and then just like extra stuff, face washes and then face masks like I said. And then in the very back I have all of my sheet masks that I kind of went through and decluttered. Here we have body lotions and extra body washes and then up top I have a little bowl that I use when I do like a hand soak or a hand scrub. Um, my hair, when I color my hair, my little bowl a what is that a facial steamer my white strips mouthwash and then in the back there i have a pmd and a like a derma roller or something yeah i think that's what it's called that i've never used because i'm scared and i always say i'm going to but i never do so that is pretty much the finished cupboard i don't know if this was interesting but um i appreciate you guys doing it with me because it made it a little bit more fun so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I have lots of other cupboards I could declutter, so let me know if you want to see it. All right, I love you guys. I will see you soon. Okay, peace. Crisp white strips with the lotion. Why? Oh my god, I'm too long to sit crisscross applesauce. Ah, ah, there's no room to walk in here with this damn ring light. My mom knew I was throwing all this stuff away, she'd kill me. She's always like, save it, I'll use it! And she never uses it! So we're tossing them while she's not here. Mom, don't watch this video. Oh shit, I forgot my mom does watch my videos. Oh. Oh shit. It's a good freaking day to empty out your cupboards! And then get tired and not want to do it anymore, but now you're stuck! And you're filming, so suck it up, buttercup! This I got in like a Korean... I can't... <laughs> I can't talk. This I got in a Korean... So this is the, and CeraVe, really good. I need to actually get more products from those two brands because I really like them. What am I saying? I need nothing. Nicole, you're not buying a damn thing. Settle down.
Yeah, I have to adjust. Grandma's knees are hurting. Oh my god. The drama. <laughs>